Hello, crypto world. Welcome to The Chart Historian. My name is Justin, and on this channel, I delve deep into crypto charts, exploring chart structures, fractals, and patterns. In this video, we're going to talk about Casper, what I believe it's doing, and what I believe could take place in the coming days. So let's make this chart come to life. So if you were to take this area right here, this is recent history. Now I'm on trading view. If you were to copy this over here, now I've adjusted this for timing height and depth over here. Let's zoom in and get a better look at this. You can see that it is a pretty good match. Now this is recent history. So the deal with recent history is it could be a many times a very good match, but it also can stop following it at any moment. But having said that, it has followed it pretty closely. This over here could be an indication of what we have coming down the pike. Now, what was this fractal part of that I pulled it from? So this was the bounce that took place right before moving into the bull run structure. If I move this box, you might be able to see that a little better. So here is the first wave, here is the second wave, and here is the third wave. After that third wave came crashing down into wave one zone, it went flat, and then it began this. So what is going on over here? Well, let's go back to the very beginning of the Casper chart. Okay, so here I am on Cointrader Pro, that is charts.cointrader.pro. So this is the beginning of the Casper chart. Now this is pre-normal trading. However, it is this structure right here that today's Casper is following. So there are three basic parts to this structure, namely a bull run. It starts with a bull run, it goes into a decline, and then it goes into a sideways range bound time. Now I've broken these into smaller sections. It repeats again, it goes into another bull run, it goes into a decline, it goes into another sideways range bound time, and then it repeats again into another bull run. This bull run was massive, and then it keeps going into the decline and sideways range bound time, I go into this repetitive structure. It is a repetitive structure. I go into it in many of my videos. I recommend going back and watching some of those videos if you want further clarification of how this repetitive structure works. We are currently in this green box area or near it at least. Let's zoom in over here. So this is on a five minute candle. So here is the bounce before going into that bull run structure. It happened so quick this time around. This is on a five minute candle, but it captures the kind of essence of what that first bull run structure does. So you have the first wave, and then you have the second wave, and then you have the third wave, which brings it to a peak, comes crashing back down, goes into wave one zone, and then it goes flat just as we saw over here with wave one right here, goes into wave two, goes into wave three, comes to a peak, comes crashing down, goes into wave one zone, and then goes flat. So it has been my belief that we have been in this area. However, the way things have been playing out, I am going to throw out some different possibilities, and you're free to pick and choose what you want to believe. You may not like one of them at least, but I'm gonna throw it out there just so you're fully aware of what the different possibilities could be as it plays out. So if this is a clue to what is going to take place, we have some choppiness before it gets to a point where it just shoots up. So there is the possibility we are still here and it's just taking a really long time. Okay, so here I am on Cointrader Pro. So price moves up in the first wave which we see in the pink fractal which is this iteration right here the blue fractal is this iteration over here i've gone into this in my previous videos you're welcome to go back and check that out so here we have wave one we have wave two we have wave three where it crashes down so if we are doing this possibility it's playing out on a very large time frame and it's going very slow. In my last video, I talked about how a straight line many times is translated into waves or bounces, and that's what this is. It moves up 
just like we see with recent history over here. So this is one possibility. It's just kind of going slow, taking its time. It will speed up eventually as it moves up into the next corrective structure, which is over here. Of course, we get a very large pullback there, as I've also mentioned in previous videos. We also have this smaller correction that takes place before moving into this structure. If we jump over to this fractal right here, let's zoom in. We have a similar story. Now, this is on an hour candle. I have copied it on a five minute candle just so we get more nuances. Here is that pullback that we see right here. Same thing. And then it moves up into the next corrective structure over here. So that is one possibility. So it will move up from here and go into this smaller corrective structure next, or if you will, this one right here. Now, the next possibility I'm going to throw out is that. What we are seeing on the chart today, that is this whole entire structure, could potentially be this. Now, historically, this has taken place once it got above the high over here of the first structure. We see the same thing over here. It gets above the high of this first structure, this first bull run structure. But it is theoretically possible that it doesn't do that as the timing, height, and depth are going to be unique every single time a fractal repeats. So in theory, it could be taking place here. That is another possibility. What lends credibility to this is if we look at this fractal over here, this recent history fractal, we have this angled part that takes place before really shooting up. And we have something similar to that over here before shooting up. If this is at play, it would then go into this right here. We're going to have to see how this plays out before drawing conclusions, but that is a possibility. So the next possibility you're not going to like, <laughs> and here's why. If I took this entire structure here, copied it on a five-minute candle, and shrunk it down, I could, in theory, make it fit into this structure right here that takes place after this first bull run structure. Now, we have no historical precedent for something like this taking place, but as you can see, it does match. It moves up here. It then has this pullback right here. Let's zoom in on this. As that pullback, it comes to a peak and then declines, and then eventually it would move into this structure over here. Now, we have no historical precedent for this. One theory that could make sense of this is that these are bull run structures, so they have a commonality to them. You could take one and squeeze it into another, and you would find similarities. Is that what's taking place? It could be, but we have no historical precedent for this structure taking place over here or if you will, this structure taking place over here. To me, this is more probable, but if you do take the parts of this structure, you can see that it does fit this. So I wanna throw that out there as a possibility. It is theoretically possible, but as of now, I'm more inclined to think it could just be this, just playing out on a large scale, or potentially this, and we have not yet moved into this yet. If we go through this bull run structure and we start saying, hey, this next structure looks very similar to this structure over here, well, then we have to entertain that possibility. But I just want to throw it out there as a possibility. I think it's not as likely as just this taking its time or possibly this. So there you have it, folks. So far, this Recent history structure has been a pretty good match of what is going on. Now, there is the possibility it's even playing out on a larger scale, and that means it could decline before moving up. So we'll have to see how this continues to play out. As this chart develops, I'll continue to update it. So if you're not subscribed to this channel and you are a Casper holder, I recommend hitting that subscribe button. I'll, like I said, continue to follow up on this chart. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And if you did enjoy this video, It'd be much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day and bye for now.